He's the leader of Hong Kong's National Party. It's a small group promoting independence from China, but the government has deemed it a threat to national security. The party is now banned in Hong Kong. What the agenda of the Hong Kong National Party uh, aims to is in strict contravention to the basic law, the Hong Kong National Party also spreads hatred and discrimination against mainlanders in Hong Kong. The police made the initial recommendation. The government agreed. But the party leader says he doesn't advocate violence and made this statement at the city's foreign correspondence club in August. Due to the nature of how the Chinese propaganda machine works, the National Party was instantly demonized as some sort of extremist group due to this single word, independence. In reality, what the National Party is chasing after is no different from what many Hong Kongers wish for, the dream of democracy. The decision to ban this group is unprecedented in Hong Kong, but is considered a strategic move by the government to muzzle the pro-independent sentiment as Beijing acts on any challenge to its sovereignty. The vast majority of Hong Kong people do not believe that independence is a realistic option. But there has been increasing resentment against the Chinese authorities, against their interventions in Hong Kong. And naturally, Hong Kong people feel that their core values, their lifestyles have been flattened. Hong Kong is a semi-autonomous territory under the so-called One Country, Two Systems deal, which was part of the official handover from Great Britain to China more than two decades ago. That means Hong Kong enjoys freedoms unseen on the mainland, including freedom of speech. But that space for political dissent is shrinking. Pro-independence activist Andy Chan was prohibited from standing for election. Six democratically elected pro-democracy politicians were disqualified from the city's parliament. The National Party plans to hold a public protest on Tuesday. But the government says any member of the group will be fined up to $12,000 or face up to three years in jail if they speak out. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.